on the right as well. So it's Young and Hashem being shaped by Barnes. And then it's going to be, uh, I think it's Johnson just sitting on the wheels. Uh, Wiley, the man who was on the podium last time there, trying to get back in touch with Johnson and Barnes. Behind them then, Peacock goes to Bratton. Not too far off base, Tukum. He that seems to give us like Mansfield. Not uh, far off the base, but he's got company. McLeod's on his wheel at the moment. Askey's made his way right the way through the back. He's now moving out towards the front of that bunch as well. Now Mill Alexander, I think he's the last man off from the uh, start. He was the last quitted man. He's already now made his way halfway through this race field in the chase of the race lead. And you can see just how tough this is, but our two leaders continue to break clear. It's our two riders from that PH Mass Corners Old Field Race Team. Dropping down, taking that right hand. The bank is still led by Barnes. Remember, Barnes the last time around was looking good fourth in the race last time. And uh, it is young to be down. They've got the left hand turn. And behind, Hansen's coming up onto it. Now, I cannot believe the speed of the jumps of the gun actually. Seven minutes, 15 is our fastest lap yesterday. They are going to absolutely obliterate us. The speed of the gun to the seven to Santa was tremendous this morning. Yeah, absolutely quite rare for the Ryan Sun. It's all about power to make the race shape start being light. And powerful to the race high key, they'll take the clues. These riders yesterday were making it look easy. And of course, they're looking at still being that GD Kesko before. They may be going on a little bit. So the two riders will be now that she's still in the back of the hand. Pick up, comes down the right hand side, takes a look. As a shout out, he knows he can't let the rest of the two in front go. However, they're also his two men to hurt off the right side. So at the moment, they appear to have fallen on the team. They have three runs in the top three. It is Jason Young, Holly Hansen, and then the Joe Pickup. Yeah, you might recognize the Pickup name. That's not just because he started as being uh, racing for years and years, being an old winner. It's not just because he's gone to the next people you meet, but it's actually because he's got his own world champion on the event as well as multi national champion. So at the moment, Joe Pickup looking good in position three bars. Oh, my God. 
We see three laps to go on the lap board, so it's going to be three laps to go for our lead rider. We rider has a problem, all of them will come down, it can shuffle it up and it does stop the momentum. All the riders going through, you don't usually win a race in a sand trap, but you... The work at the front, driving this chain of six along as a bunny hop over the hurdles, good to see the different techniques. Daniel bunny hopping again as they make their way up towards the hill and the s -Pen. So we've got Litchfield in second place, we've got Baker's Boutique in third place. Uh, uh, but if we look up on the hill, Jensen Young, our leader, making short work, easy work of those s -Pens as he powers towards the moon. He's certainly going up and very, very strongly there behind you saw the riders coming into the hurdles, those riders who can body hop them. They don't gain time initially where the gain time is on the remount as the riders slow down to jump back on again. They're already in that time on that remount. They've got the momentum coming forward and Cross is all about momentum, whether that is getting on and off the bike at the hurdles, whether it's buddy hopping them, whether it's carrying them around these turns. Oh, it's looking to be about 25 seconds that he's got on this chasing group of six. Again, the Litchfield rider sat on the front, powering his way up the hill. Behind him, he's got Leslie Bike Chops and he's got Paul Mills. This six are just sticking together. They are like absolute glue as they make their way down the hill. Well, he comes sweeping down a past that chase through, but it's past the heating engineers and the plumbing specialist. Once again, it looks like the Litchfield rider Daniel is sitting on the front doing the work, bringing them through. Yeah, six riders get a two laps. They can sat at the back at the moment. They have to respond. But remember, each of the teams with two runs in that group have the cars to play. Now, Barnes bunny hopping over the hood. Clean straight line. If anybody messes it up in front, you're going to go straight in the back. And that's oh, 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 oh. another of the really technically competent riders. If you think about it too much, why is going to be on? I don't think Tom Cousins, the man riding for Zappage in the red and black, is going to get there. He's the only other rider in front of this group who's just come up and over the hurdles. That's Ethan White. Oh, that big group. And we're going to get back to Tom Cousins, the rider up at the bottom. The back and heading back in to towards up pit area once again. Anyone who was riding yesterday, anyone who was in the vets races, you will not believe who will be ready, that they're definitely not going to catch the leader. It's all about conserving energy over the course of the next lap and a half and making sure that they are the one who gets the jump at the sprint for this finish. It's going to be a phenomenal finish that we're going to see here in around about 10 minutes time. Great to see what's going to happen for second, third and fourth place with these six riders. Yeah, it's all coming back again. Go on, 
I don't know who got it, somebody got it. <laughs> he got put in there. <laughs> 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 Thank you.